everyone welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title of this video we're doing a little recap of my first pin event and a little um haul from the disney character warehouse as well so uh, let's just jump right in um all right so my first pin event ever was very overwhelming let me just say that so this was the Figment Guy pin event here in Orlando. Um, he hosts um, pin events every year, multiple times a year. Um, and now that I live in Orlando, um, obviously those are a little bit more accessible to me. Um, so um, when he posted the schedule for the 2024 pin events, um, you know, I had marked it out on my calendar. And it's a free event, so free to enter, free parking. Um, and then, you know, he has giveaways and he has a bunch of stuff going on every hour. You can buy raffles to be entered. Um, and there's certain uh, ways to enter the raffle to be entered into the giveaways. And some of the giveaways are, were pretty good. Um, a lot of the vendors... Um, donated um certain things um like lounge flies um pin folios from go print pro they were um they did a, a donation um i think some pins um and some other stuff that was actually pretty cool um i didn't do any of that i was just like i just want to see what's going on and like move on so um at first i just wanted to just go and look i didn't want to do any pin trading or any pin buying or anything I, it was my first event. I've never been to an event and I was just already nervous and my anxiety was going off the roof. So that was my idea. But I was like, okay, well, what if I go and it's not so bad and I kind of want to trade while I'm there. So I decided to just pull in all of my traders um, and put them in a book and just went. So the pin the pin event was um, scheduled from nine to five p.m. I went or I went yeah I went around nine thirty ten o'clock ish, um, and it was packed, packed. Oh my gosh, room the little um, conference room that they were in was packed. So my anxiety was through the roof, overwhelmed, overstimulated, but. I went in, did a little browsing, and I mean, it's just so many things. Like each vendor has different things. A lot of people have um, are just selling, so not even trading. A lot of people are trading. A lot of people bring in just higher end pins. A lot of people bring in smaller to medium to high end. So there's honestly a, like a little bit of everything, to be honest. Um, and so I felt kind of... Um, not out of place yes yes i felt out of place because a was my first pin event and i'm still fairly new to pin trading and pin collecting i've only been collecting since last year so yeah i was very you know i was kind of like what am i doing here but um it was a good experience to experience for the first time um I did end up doing a few trades, like three trades. Everything else was kind of like, uh. And then, um, you know, each vendor obviously has the right to turn down a trade or offer something different or something like that. Um, that's the whole point of trading. Um, but I don't have trades. I didn't come prepared for trades. All of my trades are just random pins that I have either extras of or that I've, you know, downsized here and there. Definitely not any high end pins, not even like medium value. Like I had like a couple of those. Um, so I was definitely not prepared. I mean, people were coming with like books and suitcases of traders. Um, and there was people that were just coming just like me with like one little pin folio. <laughs> so, I mean, to each their own, but I did manage to do just a handful of trades. Um, I honestly was just kind of like a little, just again, overstimulated and overwhelmed. So I did a few trades. I walked around a couple times and then I was like, you know what? I gotta go, <laughs> I am done. So I think it was great. I'm definitely at least more prepared for my next one. And I'm going to um, definitely stock up a little bit more of my traders or at least have more traders um 
because a lot of my pins, like I said, I don't have traders. So it's either overflow or extras or um, me downsizing my collections. So I don't have like a lot of different characters or just like a handful and not everybody likes those. So um, I feel like if you're just new to pin trading or if you haven't been to a pin event before, I just say, just go. Bring a trade, bring a trade book, big or small, medium, doesn't matter. Just go have a feel for it. You don't feel obligated to do anything. Don't feel obligated to say yes or no or anything like that. Just, you know, take it a pin at a time. So I am definitely very excited for the next one. Um, but let me just show you what um, I brought to trade. I'll show you what I traded for. And then um, I'll show you my little haul from the Disney Character Warehouse. Because um, I was so overwhelmed and overstimulated that I actually went to Disney Springs right after the event. I got, um, actually got another box of the uh, Dogs Mystery Pins, which I can show you that too. I already opened them. But I went to Disney Springs to get one of those boxes and shop around and didn't find anything else. And then I was like, mm, that, didn't, that didn't do it for me. So then I went to the character warehouse and I bought some a few things. So, um, but yeah, let me show you what I ended up bringing to the pin event. So this is the book that I brought to the pin event. It is the Go Pin Pro Pinfolio Max. So it is the bigger one compared to like their classic. I did bring the bigger one. Um, and then I put just like pin backs in here just in case people wanted them or not because I again I don't know what people do so I just put those there and then let me just show you guys the pins that I brought so these are the um, loose pins that I have so as you can see they're just kind of like a hodgepodge of random stuff um, but yeah so I, I, I kind of put them in what I considered like least value to higher value as far as the um the loose pins like these are lounge flies down here mystery boxes and then some like you know five dollar um, mystery bag pins and stuff like that so these were the loose pins that i had um and then these are the carded pins that i had or the more um higher value i guess so these are just all the carded pins that i had again i just put them from in my opinion lowest value to highest value so like this pen i have right here um i had researched it's valued at around 30 to 35 this one's around 20 to 25 and then this is around like 15 to 20 so i kind of like did them in that order so like i knew like if i'm trading like okay like you have a $20 pin, like this is what I have for 20 or like, you know what I mean? So again, as you guys can see, it's not anything crazy that I brought. I just brought one book compared to people who have like pages or like multiple books. So that is the book that I had. And then let me show you, I brought this one just to keep my keepers separate um, cause I didn't want it to mix it in just in case. So I only traded for three pins and these are the three pins that I traded for. So I traded for the Belle, the Jasmine and the Simba. Um, so I, I traded a Moana from the same set for the Belle and I traded a Pocahontas from the same set for Jasmine. And then I traded a lounge fly, um, Cinderella mouse mice, um, pin for the Simba, which I think I already have Simba, but again, I was like kind of like flustered and I was like, ooh, good pin. Do you like this one? Let's trade. Okay. <laughs> so um, just did three trades. And then I had also, um, I had also brought these in my backpack. Let me grab them. I have brought these in my backpack. I have this set, which already has them. I already know, but I think I have Simba already. Um, anyways, I had brought this lanyard set and then this um, Funko Pop pin, um, just because obviously they don't fit in the the um, the pinfolio. Just in case someone you know was interested. But to be honest, again, I was so flustered. I didn't even like mention those. I didn't even take them out. I was just like, here's the book. Do you lack anything? So, but yeah, I mean, it was a great event. I loved it. I enjoyed it, even though it was overwhelming. But um, I'm very excited to go to the next one. And I'm very excited to keep learning, keep trading, and just keep the fun going. So, 
All right, so then let's jump in. So like I mentioned, I did go to Disney Springs um, and got another one of the Disney Dogs Mystery uh, Box. And so just to um, let you guys see what the ones that are available here. So we have Dodger Lady, Little Brother, 100, 101 Dalmatians, Georgette, Copper, Nana, and Pluto. So I'm only missing um, Pluto, uh, Little Brother, and Lady. I have all the rest of them, so I just got another box. Um, and then I already opened them, so I already know what I got. So the first pool was a Dalmatians, which I already have, so this is a trader. <laughs> Um, and then the next one that I got was Lady. So yay. That one's going to go into my doggy collection. So now I'm just missing um, Little Brother and Pluto. So I have um, 101 Dalmatians and I have a Georgette for trade as well. So I mean, if anybody has Pluto or Little Brother, I mean, let me know. <laughs> Um, all right, and then let's just jump in to the character warehouse um, haul. So I got three pins because I was like, okay, gotta get my training game up. So I did get three pins. I got this Iron Man pin, um, and this one was $4.99 from $17.99. So I figured um, Iron Man should be pretty tradable um, in the future, so I grabbed that one. Then I grabbed this um, Kite Tails. Um, it has Simba and it has Blue. Um, I just thought it was super uh, affordable so it was $3.99 from $12.99 so I figured that would be a good trader maybe um, and then the last one that I got was Marie and I know everyone loves Marie and this is the um, like sparkly one does it have diamonds it doesn't have diamonds but it's like pressed glitter kind of um, but this one was $5.99 from whatever silver was maybe $12.99, I don't know. But um, these were the three pins that I got from the Disney Character Warehouse. They had a lot, a lot of Marvel pins and some like the little Star Wars moving limb ones. Um, I didn't get any of those. I didn't think they were popular. So I only got the Iron Man. I thought that was the most, you know, cool one, I guess. Um, and then I did get some pair, a pair of ears. Um, I did get the um, Walt uh Walt Disney Studios um ears and these are pretty cool so it has like um like stars inside it's like a globe um but yeah they're pretty cool this is bouncy um and this is part of the Disney 100 e um, ears and it just says Walt Disney right there on the side um and I don't know if you guys watched my most recent video but I did mention that I typically don't like your typical um, Minnie Mouse ears or the, the ears with the bow in the middle, specifically the bow, just because I just personally, it's not my cup of tea. I don't like the ears with bows. I like ears with anything else in the middle. I would wear those all day long. I just don't like the bows. I don't know, just don't like them. So um, I saw these and I thought they were pretty cute and the uh, price was $12.99. I don't know what retail price was, but maybe 35, that's what they seem to be going for. But um, yeah, got these ears. <laughs> um, and then the last thing that I got at the Character Warehouse is, is this boy right here. So I got the um, Christmas Lounge Fly backpack. And this was $34.99, and I believe retail was $88. So, yeah. So, right there, $34 um, from $88. So, um, we got this bag right here, and it's such a beautiful bag. It has all of the characters. Stitch moves here, slides back and forth, you know, supposedly. Not that easily, I guess, but right there. Right there. Um... We have Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Dumbo, Mickey, Minnie. We have Goofy and we have Simba right there. 
And then on the side, we have the nephews. We have Alice and Cheshire on, on the side there. And then on the back, we have more characters. We have Jeannie, Pinocchio, Bambi, Thumper. Um, so it's just all around a beautiful bag. Um, it's gold zipper, just regular zippers. Um, so it has two, um, two uh, big pockets. So normally the lounge flies have like the smaller pocket on the front. So this one has a large pocket here. Um, and ooh, this is so pretty, I didn't even see that. This is the print on the inside. It's just a bunch of ornaments in like the Disney character colors. And then we have this little weird kind of overall -y, um pocket. Um, so it's like a pocket and then obviously this is another pocket. So this is kind of cool. It's like literally like overalls. Um, and then we have the bigger pocket or the bigger compartment right here. And it is the same print um, goes down. And then the side pockets um, are right here. And then Disney lounge fly. So I got this lounge fly. So this is my third lounge fly. Now I have a Halloween one, I have my um, Lion King one, and then I have my new Christmas one. So this is gonna be perfect for next year, or this year is actually um, Christmas time. So I'm very excited and got it at a great deal. And it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. So love the colors and just loved it. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like I'm talking very fast, but that's just how I'm talking, so sorry. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have any tips on pin trading or pin events. Um, definitely, I will take all the advice ever. Um, and let me know if you guys, you know, where do you guys shop for like your traders? I know I shop for, I shop at a lot of live sales and they have great prices. So I definitely have to now kind of shift gears into not only looking for myself, but looking for traders. So, but yeah, if you guys have any advice, any tips, definitely leave them down below. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.